Um, I want to press Shift A, go to Mesh, go to Cylinder, press 1 to go to the front view on the number pad. And I want to start to create glasses for this character. So let's do it. Let's rotate this 90 degrees, in the X axis. Press one to go back to the front view. Line this up with one of the eyes. Let's use our scale tool and we'll just go around here at the thickness that we want. This looks good here, somewhere around here. Now what I can do is press tab to go to edit mode. Go to face select by going to the top left section, selecting this icon, or you can just press number three on the keyboard, not the number pad on the keyboard, but just the keyboard. Select the first face, hold shift, select the back one. We can press I to create an inset here and we can delete these faces. Now what we can do is go to edge mode, select this ring on the outer edge on both sides, and we can right click and go to bridge edge loops. Now we have this section. And what we can do is just add a mirror modifier to this for a visual representation. Get some nice big glasses here. Let's just change the scale of this. Let's toggle off proportional editing. We don't want these to be too thick. That being done, what we can do is Select this, go back to edit mode, go to face select by pressing the number three on the keyboard. We're going to the top left section, selecting the icon here. I can grab any of these faces. I'll select this one for now. Press shift D to duplicate, right click to cancel the movement and I'll press P to separate the selection. Now pressing tab, we can go back to object mode and select the piece we just cut out. And with this here, what we can do is, the anchor is in the middle and we want to change it to be actually on the object. So we'll right click, go to set origin, origin to geometry. Now it's over here and we can just upscale this somewhere close to here. We can move it off of the actual glasses so it's not touching or overlapping. We could add a solidify modifier to give it thickness. Make sure you apply the, the thickness to it. We can go into edit mode select this back face here and we want to just bring this back to about here when we bring it back ensure that you move it closer to the head as well Once you do that, you get somewhere around here. You could also use the rotate tool and um, just angle this a bit better so the topology is nice and clean. One thing that I want to do with the glasses really quick is rotate these a bit. So you can press 7 to go to the top view, use the rotate tool, and we can just rotate this slightly. 
like this. Use the move tool. We can better position this. And since we move that, we'll have to move this as well. Now let's look at our character. And you see it's a, it's a little bit better, actually a lot better. So now we just have to readjust this last piece here. We'll leave this how it is for now. Lastly, we'll select here. We can grab as many of these as we want. We can extrude this. We can press S to scale um, zero and press X to scale the zero degrees in the X axis, which will flatten out any curvatures we have in the model. So to see that again, you press S zero X. Something I'm going to do is bring these closer and we can turn on clipping. And that's also Get rid of these faces so we can merge these together here so let's mirror this let's go to object mode apply the mirror modifier go back into edit mode and let's press forward slash so we can isolate this by itself and what we can do is go to select this entire ring select this entire ring on this side and we can right click bridge edge loops. Go to edge mode now. Select the ring going this way. Hold shift, select this other ring, press X, and we can dissolve the edges. So now we can forward slash to get out of exit mode or object mode. And now we can press control R Middle mouse scroll to get some subdivisions there. And let's downscale these. So I'll select this ring here in the middle. Turn on proportional editing. I'll press S, Z to scale it up and down. And you can middle mouse scroll to change how much is manipulated. And cool, we have this looking the way we want it for now. And this is fine. Now let's um, better match the head. So what I want to do is select the head shape here. Go back to scope mode. And let's press G to go to our grab brush. And let's just manipulate this cheek area on the face as well as bring the chin up a little bit. And don't forget to look at this from all angles. So we need to definitely bring the cheeks out here. Rotate around the back and let's fix this head shape. I don't know what I got going on here, but I'm not liking it. <laughs> so let's just pull this back. And so we don't have a cone in the back. We're going to bring these out to the side, the back, round off the head. And just smooth this out. Something I also want to do is change the shading mode right now. So let's hit this drop down here. Let's go to matte cap. And we could choose something a little bit more suiting and darker. So we can choose this one is actually pretty good. Or we could choose the tan or dark brown or light brown, I should say. So we get a better visual of this. And let's change the eyelids while we're here because he looks a little down and we don't want him to look too down. So we could either delete the top eyelid 
or we can bring it back and rotate it slightly. So let's bring it back and let's rotate this a little bit more. You can hold down shift while you rotate or move anything to have incremental movements. We'll do the same to the bottom eye. So we'll slightly bring this up. And we can close this a little bit more just to give it some expression. Let's finish up with the head. Changing the nose changes this character's look completely. Let's um, stretch out the nose and see how this looks. That looks good. Let's smooth out the brow area. Switch to our draw brush and I'm going to hold down control to get the opposite effect. I just want to bring this eye in a little bit so it pops. I'm filling in the head a little bit. Just a bit. Switch to our crease brush, our draw sharp. strips to build up on this a little bit more. And lastly, let's do the chin. chin back a little bit. This looks good for a head for now. Um, we could even bring the cheeks out just a little bit more. Bring it down. And this is a good place to leave off in this video. I think it looks um, pretty okay for now. We'll start polishing this up a little bit more in the next video.